<laughs> so I forgot to do an intro on my last video and then I didn't do an intro when I was done up regularly so you guys get the zombie intro which in my opinion is way better than a regular me. I had a ton of requests to do a flapper so I did a flapper I did the regular version but you know me it's Halloween I like to be spooky and scary because when else can I walk around like this you know I'm gonna give you guys two options I'm gonna give you guys the regular 1920s flapper and then we're going to zombify her this damn boa can I get a bloody cigarette hello and the cigarette's fake, so don't worry. But I mean, flappers did smoke. It was the 1920s, they smoked. So if you guys want to see how to get a regular 1920s flapper or this creepy zombie flapper, then just keep watching the videos. Thanks, guys. Happy haunting. I bet you can guess what I'm doing. <laughs> just priming my face with a Benefits Professional, and then we're moving straight on to foundation. I'm using L'Oreal True Match as always. You can use a white face paint if you want. This foundation is a little bit lighter than my actual complexion. So yeah, just make sure your skin's a tad bit whiter because we're trying to become a flapper. And I did kind of cake on the foundation because I wanted to give myself that really porcelain doll looking skin. After foundation and concealer, we're just going to set everything with a translucent powder. Then moving on to our brows, we're just going to try to make them as straight as possible. I didn't want to go into covering them with glue or anything, so just try to make your brows as straight and as dark as you can. If you want to use black, go ahead and do that. any kind of black matte eyeshadow I'm using one from Mayron you're just gonna want to pack this all over your lid and not take it into your crease too much I had to take mine into my crease a little bit but you want to really just concentrate this on the lid of your eye and you want to give yourself a really rounded shape nothing like almond or anything like that just super round <laughs> Then I'm just going to do a few coats of mascara. We are not wearing false lashes for this because it was the 1920s. There were no false lashes. Hello. <laughs> and then we're just going to line our waterline and our lower lash line. Again, for the lower lash line, we want to keep our eyes super rounded. So you want the majority of your product to be right there in the center of your eye. And then after that, we're just going to smoke it out with some black eyeshadow. Actually, not even smoke it out. You kind of want your lines to be harsh. Don't forget those lower lashes. Then I'm just taking this color that is in my eyeshadow palette. It's kind of like a mauve color, and I'm going to use that for my cheeks, and then I'm going to blend it out. You want to concentrate the color right on the apples of your cheeks, like so. Then for our lips, I just want to make sure that my Cupid's bow is pretty pointed for the flapper look, and we're going to use a dark, deep, purple color. This is Night Moth from MAC and then I'm going to use Milani's Black Cherry to fill in the lip. Um, and a little side note, they actually used to wear black and gray tone lipstick because everything was in black and white back then. <laughs> But after our lips, all you need to do is throw on a headpiece, grab a feather boa, a fake cigarette, and your flapper is good to go. So I hope you guys liked this one, but can we get scary up in here? Thank you. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is smoke out our eyes even more. We're going to load on tons of black shadow, we're going to drag it down pretty low, take it further up into the crease, and just work that color in. And I'm also going to go in with red and just put it in my crease at first, and then I'm just going to blend it all out and kind of up to my eyebrow. You want to make this messy. She's a zombie. That's the best part about these. They don't have to be perfect. You can just slap all the colors on, and by the end of it, I guarantee you're going to look good. <laughs> Thank you. 
Then with a pencil brush and some red eyeshadow, you're just going to want to drag this down underneath your eye where the black ends. And you can drag this down as far as you want. The red is going to give us that infected look. I kind of go back out throughout and intensify it more. Here I'm just filling in that hollow area between my socket and my nose and kind of dragging it down as well. So for contouring, I'm using the same black shadow on our lids and a small fluffy brush and just kind of getting in the hollows of our cheeks. And then I'm going to go back with a contour brush and a deep brown shadow and contour in there as well. We're just trying to make ourselves look hollow. So I was being lazy and I'm just going to use these glue-on prosthetics. I got these from the Halloween store for like six bucks and like three came in a pack. So it's a really good deal and it's easy. So I'm just going to figure out where I want to place those, kind of rub the makeup off my face so it'll stick easier, put some spirit gum on the back, let it dry for a second, and then hold it on there for what feels like forever. I swear these things you have to hold forever for them to stick, but just keep holding and I promise it will stay. <laughs> So now I'm just doing some touch-ups. I'm going to add a little black under my lip for a more hollowed out look. And then I'm gonna go in with just a liquid liner and kind of draw veins under my eyes. Use a really light hand when you're doing this. And then I'm gonna take a uh, like red face paint from the flash palette and go over those. And then we're gonna set everything with a powder to make it look more realistic. Then I just decided to slap the white powder kind of all over my face for that more deathly ghoulish appearance. <laughs> then moving on to our lips, I'm just going to extend my mouth a little bit to make me look more creepy because I think this looks creepy, don't you? Baby powder for that just rolled out of the grave look. So after you've got your headpiece on Cricut, you're just going to want to slap some blood on those fake wounds because they'll just make them look a whole lot more realistic. But for this blood, I would suggest something a little darker because this blood was really, really bright and I wanted it to be darker, but I was working with what I had. So if you're going to do a zombie, I suggest trying to find a darker colored blood instead of something this bright. But other than that, our zombie flapper is now complete. I hope you guys enjoyed and be on the lookout for more Halloween tutorials. Thanks guys, bye. If I really saw a zombie in real life, I would probably die. <laughs> Did I scare you? Ha ha ha. Oh, oh, I got a zombie tear. Ah! I'll go with it. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty.